Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention, by the way, is that law schools don't average multiple LSAT scores. Mm -hmm. Those that say they do, don't. So if you do end up having both a March and June score on your record, it's totally fine. They'll consider the highest. The only reason I recommend withdrawing if you're nowhere near where you want to be is that, that you only have so many LSAT takes you want to have on your record. Mm -hmm. So let's say March didn't go well, June didn't go well either for some freak reason, then you're going to be taking maybe a July, maybe September, and it starts to rack up more and more takes on your record. So I'd say three or four is okay, but beyond that, it starts to look a little shaky. So I'd say if you're just taking it for the first time now in March, then that's totally fine. Okay, good to know. And you would say like anything more than three starts to look a little iffy to law schools? Yeah, it does. I mean, let's say you have three scores and one cancellation, that's totally fine. Or two and two, that's also fine. But if you start to have five, six, seven, then they start to, it starts to raise some questions like, what's this person doing here? How come they can't yeah. manage their competing priorities and take it when they're ready? Especially since you can withdraw even up to the day before. Law schools won't know. So it requires just having a little bit of forethought and planning to make the best possible decision about whether you should take it or not. Yeah, good to know. Thank you for explaining that so clearly. Yeah, of course. My pleasure. And if you do just want to take a, a dry run, Mm -hmm. without having a score on your record or a take on your record, a couple of options. There are plenty of great proctor apps and YouTube videos that simulate test day conditions with the timing, even with a little bit of noise as well at distractions. So that's one thing to consider as an alternative. The other thing is that a lot of major prep companies like Capital and Princeton Review, they offer free proctored exams, mainly for marketing purposes to promote their courses, but you can go in and take it for yourself and you can even bring your own exam if you want to, if, you're, if you don't want to do the one that they're administering. So mm -hmm. those are some options. And then plenty of other companies offer proctored ones for a fee as well.